Mixed reviews on the movie The Final Wish. I'm the angry guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Director for the film The Final Wish was Timothy Woodward Jr. The cast in the film are Michael Welsh, Lynn Shea, Spencer Locke, and Tony Todd. The film is about Aaron, played by Michael Welsh, who receives a phone call from his ex-girlfriend, Melissa, who is married and still living in his hometown. Melissa told him his dad has died. Over the years, Aaron has almost forgot about his hometown and the people living there. Now Aaron has to put his life on hold to help his mournful mother, played by Lynn Shea, to get through this difficult time. His mom asked him to stay a few days longer just to help her out a little bit. He really doesn't want to, but good and strange occurrences are happening to him while he is staying there. Any, anything Aaron slightly wishes comes true. Ooh. During his extended stay, Aaron bumps up with his best friend from the years ago, and Aaron explains that different anomalies have been happening to him. He also mentions an urn in his room that gives him a creepy feeling. Aaron, his best friend, decides to take a picture of the urn and take it to the library so the custodian, Tony Todd, could help them out to see what kind of urn it is. To me, the film had a scary movie right vibe right off the bat. Crystal clear photography, dramatic electronic music, the blue darkness, a person calling for a mom and dad while searching for them in their empty house. A faint tingling noise in the background, and there was a loud scream from the young woman by seeing her mom bladed and sliced up on the floor. And to her surprise, when she turns around, her dad with blood around his mouth, holding a sword dripping with blood. Oh, yeah. The, the movie had me. It hooked me right there, man. The film moves on with a quick pace. You get acquainted with the different characters in a good amount of time. I was pleasantly surprised to see Lynn Shea was in this film. She always brings authenticity to any film she's in. To me, the background music reminded me of good old classy scary movies. The music with Aaron was driving back to his hometown. Another when the room when they were in the room and the camera was panning while the audience seen the wooden skull and demon with the wings. Plus the music when the audience seen the nice antique furniture with the slightly tingling, smooth, eerie music in the background. I enjoy a film so much more when someone takes extra time to add the perfect background that fits the scene. This is a good all-round film for most viewers who enjoys a film that is not going jerky around. Out of 10, I give this film a 7.5. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.